So uh, this is Dog of Man, our nature channel. Yeah, we have just in the Gatatu Peninsula. Uh, we're going to talk to some of the local hunters and gatherers, see what they know about uh, about Gatatu and how to survive off the land in Gatatu. These are these are interesting survival tales, and they're really good just to learn. So what's this guy? Oh, this is a wise so, man. Wise man. Okay. Hello, sir. Um. Can we ask you a favour? We, we're doing a, a documentary on about nature and character for our school project. Could we ask you a couple of questions? Depends on what the questions are. Um, <laughs> what's your favourite type of... Um, how's it going, man? Not too bad. How's yourself? Your, pretty good. What do you think's the best thing about Tiatatu? The best thing about Tiatatu? The beach. Oh, you yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, lovely beach. What do you yeah. think of, like, the plant grows and stuff? Well, we could do a little bit better. I mean, it needs a good tidying up, yeah, mm -hmm. but, um... Amen to that. Uh, you know, uh, as you know, uh, I've been trying to do that already for the last couple of years. With a council or...? Uh, no, 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 by no. just by myself. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, I'll just uh, take a couple of bags with, or rub this with me every day, and uh, hopefully, you know, like, you know, cleaning it up as you go. Yeah. yeah. So is that your pooch over there? That's my poochie. <laughs> yep, it's uh, his or her name. His, Cassie. Oh, how often do you take her for walks? Every single day. Every. Does she love it? <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dogs love it. Oh that. yeah. We go all the way down to the motorway and back. Right. It's a fair walk. Yeah, about six k's. Six k's. Yeah. Must keep the fitness levels up. Oh yeah. 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 Well, as you get older, you have to look after yourself. Definitely. Yeah. So what do you think? What's your? What makes you the? Uh, feel sad about Tiatatu at the moment? What's what do bringing Tiatatu down? What is letting Tiatatu down? I think, probably as you know for yourself, there's a lot of people out here who don't give a shit. Yeah. And um, they throw their rubbish out. Wankers, um, eh? In the last uh, three and a half years, I've picked up 37 tires on this beach. Oh. Just to give you an idea. Um, rubbish on the roads, bottles along the roads, people who do not care to work um, and then expect John Key to look after them. Mm. And it's daring to job. say, and then daring to say that they don't get enough. That is so fucking true. You know, at, uh, and if you look at these people's lives, and I'm not saying that I'm allowed to make so any judgment. Sorry, you picked that up oh, today. This is nothing. Actually, I should probably could use this. Yeah. This is uh, uh, for uh, watering system for um, for gardens. Yeah. And that's exactly what I need. Did yeah, you steal it? Of course I did. <laughs> the beach. Oh. <laughs> oh, supplies as well. Yeah. Oh, fun. One man's stuff trash is another man's treasure, as they yeah, say. You got it. Yeah. You got it. Oh, the stuff that I found on the beach, you won't believe it. <laughs> so what? What's the like biggest amount of rubbish you've seen in one day? Was it after a beach party <coughs> or? No, most of the time it is after a good storm. A good storm. Yeah. Like wash up from the sea. Or... Yeah. All the plastic bottles and uh, stuff, especially plastic bags that wash up. It is amazing how much it washes up. Yeah. Unfortunately. Oh yeah. Well, thanks for your time. Thank you very much, wise no, man. No Are you looking after yourself? Yeah, man. What are you up to at the moment? Drunken ages. Oh, that's good. You look after yourself. Thank yeah. you very much, you sir. Too. Have a good day. Yeah, you yeah. too, right? Keeping Tiata too clean, that is essential for our community as, to work as one. As we are coming around here now, oh, it's getting a bit slippery, we might have to go up onto the track here. Precautions are necessary in this part of Tiata too. In this environment. It's a harsh environment, hard to survive on. He's surviving off the other men's uh, garbage, which is great. We need to see more greenies like that in our community. Good to see blokes like that, isn't it, guys? Yeah. You're, I aspire to be like him, you know? Yeah, totally. That attitude. So, uh... <laughs> Who the fuck is this one? Um, I don't know, it's this dude that always walks past um, like us when, like, whenever we're drinking down at the beach. Is it, and his name's Wise Man. Yeah, we just call him Wise Man. <laughs> just so, like, wise. Mate, why don't we just go up here? And, uh, keep on to this track. I think we're a bit lost now, because, um, this part of Cape Town is very, very dangerous, because there are lots of rebels, lots of, uh, people that, uh, don't give a shit. And as as uh, wise men said. Yeah, as wise men said, there are people that just don't give a shit. I've got, I've got it on video of you trying to shake his hand. <laughs> and you're just like... <laughs> uh, Alright, so I take his shit on the beach? <laughs> wise men, fuck you! Well, 
No, it's not necessary, as he was saying. But, uh, this has been Nature Docos. Um, we've learned a little bit about Teatitu Peninsula today. <coughs> it's been fantastic. We've talked to Wise Man, uh, <coughs> great interviewee, <coughs> Michael, me, <coughs> Will on Cam. <coughs> yeah, <coughs> you. Hang on. Uh, <coughs> 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 <coughs>